everybody, it's Jill with Angel Creations and welcome back to my home. That's right, I'm not in my craft room today. I'm actually in my house and I am back from a fabulous vacation. And um, you ha I had banked some videos for you, so you have not really seen me um, since I am back from vacation. So back from vacation, hey everybody. I had a fabulous, fabulous time back in New Hampshire, my home, my home away from home. And, oh, excuse me, I dropped something here. So where can I put that? We'll stick it right there for now. So um, I gave you a sneak peek on my Angel Creations Facebook page that I had been on a uh, little Dollar Tree marathon and um, I had taken some great video of a horrible, horrible um, Dollar Tree in Laconia, New Hampshire. And um, I lost the video somehow. I don't know. I'm sorry. But I took a video and I couldn't even hardly walk through the place. But And my sister said that was a good day. And all it is is just boxes and boxes in the aisles that never get unpacked. And, and when they do get unpacked, it's all on the bottom shelf on top of each other, falling off into the aisles. And... Um, Dollar Tree, I don't know if you can hear me, but you need to get a new manager in your Laconia, New Hampshire, Dollar Tree, pronto. Terrible, terrible. But anyways, I also was able to visit some phenomenal stores. One of them, seeing that I'm telling you the bad one, I'm going to tell you the great one. The best Dollar Tree, maybe ever, maybe ever, that I've been in. And I have some good Dollar Trees. And it's probably close to my Plant City one on the scale from 1 to 10. These are 10 out of 10s. I'm going to tell you that the Hooksit New Hampshire Dollar Tree is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal you have a great manager there you have a great team there and um, you have a great store so that goes probably hand in hand with my florida plant city i would compare that to my florida plant city store um so i really was able to visit a lot of dollar trees dollar trees in my blood it's what i do i can go into a dollar tree and i can notice right off the bat what's new um, i know my products i know what's there all the time and i spot something new right away so let's see i don't know if this stuff is all new i'm going to get into my dollar tree haul from new hampshire this is from this is from i think six different stores and some of it is even from the terrible 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 laconia store not much but i might have find a found a few things there i have to admit but um Anyways, I can't obviously tell you what I found in which store because it was a marathon. Um, we ended up, we started, if you are familiar with New Hampshire, uh, we started way up in the White Mountains in Belmont, New Hampshire, and we, and we made our way all the way down, you know, Hooks at Manchester, Concord area, and then London Dairy Dairy. So we traveled quite a way in New Hampshire on one day doing all these Dollar Trees, and it was really fun. So, um, okay, let's just get into this, right? Um, I have none of this is sorted. It's, I have some Dollar Tree hauls to do um, after this from already being home. Um, it's been a whirlwind. I got home, I had a doctor's appointment the next day, and when I go to that doctor's appointment, I love to go to the Lakeland Dollar Tree. So I was able to stop in and go there. Then I had to go to Wesley Chapel the following day, and I love to stop in the Dollar Tree there. So when I'm out of town, of course, I hit those up. So I have a couple Dollar Tree hauls for you back to back because I have the one that I've been saving from vacation and then I have the one that or two or whatever I have here 
um, for you, waiting for you at home. And this is some exciting things, so let's get into it. Um, all right, so first of all, I have never seen cinnamon sticks at the Dollar Tree, but the Laconia Dollar Tree did have some cinnamon sticks. Um, I picked up two bags, but when I got to the register, the one of my bags was ripped open, and um, rather than going back to get another one, I just put that one, he, he put that one back, or whatever you do with damaged mer merchandise, but I just picked these up for crafting. Um, it's a two ounce bag. You don't get very many. It does smell really good though and fall is coming so I wanted a couple of them. But um, so yeah I picked these up and I don't know if this is from, I don't believe it says it's distributed by M.W. Polar Foods. Here is their, where's my camera? Right here. So I thought that was cool to find at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I really don't buy them very often and when I do, I like to buy a longer cinnamon stick. So I don't even know if you can get these in the grocery store for a dollar, but I am just showing you um, that I found them at the Dollar Tree in New Hampshire. Okay, and then I picked up, see, it's not going to be in any order. I picked up two of these signs that I have not seen in my Dollar Trees here in Florida. Um, and it just says, welcome to our home. And it's got the very nautical uh, theme, the whale, which is in 3D. And I will most likely take this whale off. But I loved the shiplap look of this sign. I love, I use these signs a lot in my crafting, um, in my crafts, really. So I think this one is a little bit shorter, though, than the norm. Um, and I like that. So you can use it on this side. You can use it long ways. You can, you can do so many things. So I did go ahead and pick up two of these because I don't see them in my area and I just liked the size of them. So those are so cute. I can see these without this saying welcome to my home. Um, I could see this being cute in a little boy's room or even a little boy's nursery that's nautical. Um, okay, and then I picked up, okay, where do I begin? So I picked up, it really is a mess here, just I had to put it in a suitcase. So um, I picked up some of this Lift and Firm Eye Cream, and um, it is put out by Global Beauty Care. This is what it looks like. And I'll tell you why, because I have these ter they're actually getting better because I am using that hyaluronic acid that I also hauled from Dollar Tree and I do see improvement. But do you see these bags, they, they get really puffy um, and I just, I'm hating the I'm hating the old age look here. And I don't mean to be or sound vain, but I don't want to look like I'm a hundred. And um, so I'm trying to get rid of the puffiness and the bags under my eyes. So I picked up this um, Lift and Firm. And I thought I would give that a shot. So you get a 0.5 ounce tube of it which is not very much so a little must go a long way but it says it has collagen and peptides and I looked in the ingredients to make sure and sure enough it does have collagen so I thought uh, I would start using that too and uh, let's see it says it 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 does deep puffing which is what I need and tightening, which is also what I need, and helps reduce the sign of aging. 15 minute eye therapy. What's that mean? It only lasts 15 minutes or what? I don't know, but I'm gonna give that a shot and try it out. Let's see if I can make myself look a little bit younger. 
All right, and then I picked up, now we're all familiar with the chalk writers at the Dollar Tree, um, but in the, pa in the Crafters Square, I picked up a metallic white marker. Um, for some of my more permanent chalkboard, either a craft that I do, or sometimes when I um, am doing pricing, I do a lot of little chalkboard prices um, when I sell my goods. So um, I just wanted to pick up, the chalk writer is excellent, and um, but it's more waxy or more oily um, than chalk. And I don't know how this writes, but I've seen a lot of people haul this, so I thought I would try it. Um, it says metallic. We'll see. Let me know in the comments if you've used this and what you think about it. So I picked up that. Now some of this is going to be boring. I picked up one of these um, and actually the truth is I was going to do a craft with my sister while in New Hampshire. And so we both picked up one of these and I never did the craft. So this is just a cute, um, let's see what the size is. It's a four by six canvas, and um, we were gonna take the canvas off and use this little frame. And I still will get to do that craft eventually, but I will do it here and she will do it at her house. So I'll show you when, uh, or maybe I'll get to do the craft with you right here on YouTube. We'll see, so that's boring, but I picked that up in New Hampshire. And then, let's see, I picked up, okay, I found some cool wet and wild uh, liquid high shine lipstick. And I thought that was very different and I love that color. So let's open it up. It was hanging on one of these things. And at first I thought it might be hard candy, but it's not. It is wet and wild, which still sells for considerably more than a dollar when you are looking at it at Walmart or any other places that they sell hard candy. I'm um, no, um, what do we got here? Wet and wild. So let's Let's just give it a good little swab in there. Oh, it's very pretty. So here, let's do a little. I like that color here. It's hard to put makeup on here. What do we think? It's very pretty. I already had a little color on before this though, so it might not be the true color, but this is, isn't that pretty? It's really um, light and not very dark. Mind all my age spots, but can you see? It's a very pretty color. Let's see if it says Mega Last, and I can't see it's got a number. I think it's called Fresh Reborn. No one's ever going to be able to read that. Sorry. It does say Fresh Reborn. Anyways, I thought that was a very pretty color and I'm very happy with that. So I picked that up in the New Hampshire Dollar Trees. Uh, then I found this, which I love, Sugar Skulls, and this is already Halloween is coming out, um, up in New Hampshire, probably is here too, although I've been to only a couple of stores since I've been back, and I haven't found any yet, but I love this Sugar Skull, it's just, they had several different patterns, and it is not a bank, it's just a decoration, and I love sugar skulls. So I thought um, this would be fun to do just for a little quiet time therapy. Um, I love to put my, you know, praise and worship music on and get out my paint markers and color and coloring books. And this will be very similar. I would love to do that. Um, 
I can't wait to do that actually and I will put this out for Halloween but um, I probably won't get done for a while but I just wanted you to see that they had these if you like sugar skulls as well sorry I have to keep bending down to put my things here because my table is full totally full so okay let's see what is in here I wrapped this up to go in my suitcase oh okay I already see what it is I loved these and I haven't seen these in my stores it's so funny because um, there's a honeycomb candle that I purchased um, I think I hauled it before I went on vacation actually and it's in every one of my stores here in the candle section. But I wanted that, I wanted to find my sister one of those honeycomb candles for her tear tray with her bees. And they don't have them. They have one very similar. Now here they have, let's just say here they have two kinds, a honeycomb and a different one. Well, up there they have the different one but they don't have the honeycomb candle. So anyway, they have different things in New Hampshire than they have in Florida or vice versa. So this, let's see what they're calling this. This is called, it's called a candle holder, but I see cake stand all over the place with this. So I picked up one all in white, two tiered tray even. Put something a little bigger on here for a cake stand. I don't know. I just think that. But it is adorable as it is. It'd be great to DIY. Um, it looked perfect with a fall candle. Um, maybe put some picks around it. And voila. Easy peasy. So I haven't seen these in our Dollar Tree up down here in Florida yet. So I grabbed them because you know how it is when you see it you have to grab it right and then I picked up another one in this color which I thought was adorable as oh excuse me as well at the hiccups I'm trying to cover them up so how cool is that right I still I see um, a, a tiered tray or a cake stand here so Keep watching and see what I do with this because even just alone with a candle on this for fall because I'm going to be bringing a lot of this color in for fall this year so okay there's that then um, in the crafter square section I was able to find these laser craft I mean, laser cut crafts, and um, I, they had zillions in the store I was in, and I think this might have been in my Hooksit uh, New Hampshire store, but I'm not positive, but I pretty much think so. Um, I picked up just the stars because there were so many to choose from. They had dragonflies and butterflies and every different thing you could imagine. I was a little overwhelmed, so I thought, you know, stars are good all the time. Here's a better close-up of them. Um, I can always use a star, so I picked up just this package of stars, because otherwise I thought I might have to pick up one of everything, and um, that could have gotten a little expensive, and I just don't know when I'm going to need a laser cut dragonfly <laughs> so I picked up the stars but you could go um, have amazing fun with these they just have so many to choose from so if you see these at your Dollar Tree go ahead and pick some up because we will definitely be using these I see Christmas coming up for crafts so that's going to be great then I haven't found one of these in a long time so I brought this to show you this is a, it's put out by Luminescence, and it's an LED pillar candle. It's battery operated, and it does not have a timer, but it says it lasts up to 120 hours. So it does have an on and off switch, and it is a flickering effect. So I'm going to pull 
this little tab here out and show you how it looks turned on. So how's that? See the flickering? So at night, it looks like you really have a candle burning. And if you take this wrapper off, I hate to take it off because I'm not ready to use it yet. If you take this wrapper off, the candle is actually um, covered in a thin, 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 thin wax and so it's got the candle wax feel so this is very very realistic when you take the label off but because it is wax um, if you just scrape it you can gouge it so I'm going to keep mine on um, just for protection until I'm ready to use it I actually bought two of these I made a beautiful craft while I was at my sister's house and um, I gifted it to uh, my friend while I was up there and I bought two of these and one of them went with her gift. So I do have plans to use this um, in a DIY coming up, but how cute for a dollar? Let me tell you, over across the room here, I have a flickering candle that's very, very similar to this except for it has a timer. So I... It, put it on for 6 p.m. It goes on every night at 6 p.m. and then it goes off at 6 a.m. Um, the only difference is this one is not a timer. So I have to turn it on and off. So you're just going to keep it, you know, someplace where you can easily get to it, I guess. So pretty cool though for a dollar. Again, it's not new. It is um, definitely, it has been out before, but it's been probably a year or two since I've seen them. But look, right? Fits perfectly on there. Oh, uh, candle ring, just adorable. Totally adorable. Okay, now this is boring, but I picked it up to do crafts with, but I just need to show you in case you're looking for a bath mat. For your tub, the Dollar Tree sells them, and this is what it looks like. But boring, pick that up for crafts, and they do have that in my Dollar Tree here in uh, Florida, but I picked it up. Um, okay, then I picked up some, let's see if I have all of it here, might not. I picked up some ribbon and there may be a stray ribbon here in my bunch, but I picked up this in the orange and brown or orange and um, neutral in the gingham for fall and the black and white check for Christmas. And both of them are nine feet long nine feet long and they are both okay so this one here was in the crafters square section and this one was in our floral garden section and those are two different sections in the store so I always say go through every aisle you have to check it out every aisle has something every aisle all right, also the Halloween is out in uh, New Hampshire, and I picked up one of these witches' hats, and um, I think they are just adorable. So, don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, looking at this right now, I see a beehive. Cut this part off, and maybe cut this part off. I don't know, but... Um, I haven't seen any uh, Halloween in our stores yet. Fall, definitely fall, but not Halloween. Also, I found these in um, our stores up in New Hampshire. Now, this bag, they, mm, pumpkin scented pine cones is what they're calling it. And let me give you a good look. They have acorns. See the acorns in there? And the pine cones and it smells so good and then this one this little bag has little pumpkins in it with the smelly pine cones see the little pumpkins so I'm gonna put those together for a bowl filler oh my gosh 
They just smell so good. I'm going to put them over there and put them in my bowl right away. I'm not really ready for fall. I mean, it's August, but it's coming. we got to just accept it, right? And then, speaking of fall, I found this. It's going to be hard to show you. I'm going to show you this way first. And then this way, so it says home. And each letter is on a pumpkin. Loving this pumpkin color for fall. And I think they also had one that said fall. I think it was F-A-L-L -L or home. And how adorable. Now this does have glitter, but they haven't gone crazy with the glitter. It's not like the glitter falls off on you. Um, they are really stepping up their game. How cute is that? And if you don't like that, just as it is, you can turn it over and make your own design. And how cute would it be this way as well? Love it. And I think I am going to spray seal this and put it outside on my door. I love it. Or maybe next to the door because I have a wreath to put on the door. So love that. Love, love, loved. And then I was able to find these glass stickers. Um, it looks like you just, it's hard to see with the glare of the, of the ring light here. Um, but it looks like you just stick this onto a glass and there's no directions maybe when i open it up there will be but this is what the front looks like and as you know i make tumblers um i have a little tumbler business and if you don't know what a tumbler is this is a tumbler angel creations i make those um if you have any questions just hit me up in the comments below and this is a great time to give me a thumbs up. If you've been with me this long, give me a thumbs up. And if you are um, one of my original subscribers, thank you. Welcome back and thank you for all your support. And if you're new here, um, consider hitting that subscribe button. And when you do, ring the bell. Because if you don't ring the bell, um, then you will not be notified every time I put up a new video. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then ring that bell. And um, according to what you choose in the drop down menu, um, YouTube will let you know each and every time that I put up a new video. So we're going to be doing a giveaway too, trying to get up to 300 subscribers. We're still a baby channel here at Angel Creations, so, uh, but we're going to be doing a giveaway at uh, 300 subscribers, so you'll want to be subscribed. So <clears throat> back to this um, glass stickers. They are from the Crafter Square, but I'm noticing something up here. And what it says is specialty. So I don't know. I need to do some research. But does that mean that it's like not always going to be in every store? Or I don't know. Only out for one season. But all it says is there's one piece and it's magic on. That's what it says. Magic on. It's backwards to you. But I thought how cool would that be? on a tumbler right you know I love the sugar skulls wouldn't that be cool on a tumbler can't really see um, and then epoxied I think that would be cool so I not only picked up that one but I thought this one was rather pretty too Let's see if you can see the detail it's just a flower there you go flowers maybe butterflies or I'm not sure they could be but anyways I picked those up just because I thought those were really cool to kind of have to you know play with so I picked those up and then I picked up one of these because I am dead oh and I got a little killed in the suitcase but I'm desperately looking for the big 12 by 12 tiles um 
And I can't tell you, they look like ceiling tin. They're in the big boxes of all the stick on tile with the rocks and the white subway tiles and stuff. But I'm not having any luck finding those. So I was able to find one a while back, but not have and I went online to get some and they are fifty dollars a case. So you get fifty in there, but they're back ordered. But I found one of these, and I liked it for texture, so I just picked up one of those, and you no know, boring craft stuff. Then I picked up this um, cool cement, I guess it's cement, it just says de decor, but it reminds me, I'm very primitive in the way I decorate my home, and it, this reminds me of a patty pan squash. I'm from New England, obviously, so I don't know if you're familiar with patty pan squash but just the fact that it's a squished pumpkin uh, I don't like the gold I will definitely uh, change that up a lot paint that and probably put some Spanish moss around there too but I am absolutely loving this pumpkin that's kind of a whimsical um, primitive um, cement it's heavy it's got some weight to it I don't have anything to tap on it, but you can see that it's made of like a cement, and I'm loving that look this year too, but anyways, go Dollar Tree, because I love that little pumpkin, and then I was not seeing this towel, I was seeing people haul it, but I was not seeing this towel, I have their other version of lemon towels but it's got sayings and big um, lemons and it's totally different than this towel excuse me still get the hiccups but I thought um, even if this was just draped um, around or near my tiered tray it would be cute because I have all the lemons over here I have all the bees over there I have all the lemons um, so over there is my kitchen over here is my dining room so and this is just too cute not to pick up it goes with my lemon theme um okay so speaking of lemons uh years ago i got all my lemons that i have uh, from the Dollar Tree before they were popular though and i would pick up two or three at a time because i liked the lemons and they looked back then so real um, that let me see if I can show you one that I would pick see how this has got a little boo-boo now from years but see how real they looked back then so I have probably 25 lemons in a wooden bowl here and um, nowadays I see people finding them and they're not quite as uh, realistic looking, but that's okay because you can still work with them. But I haven't found any in a long, long time. But I did find limes. I finally found limes up in New Hampshire. And I thought, you know, I could always paint those to make those look like lemons. Or who knows, I might have the need for a styrofoam lime someday, right? <laughs> Who knows? All right, then I found these cute little pumpkins. They had these in three different colors. Um, they had them in white and then two different oranges. And I picked up this collection of them. And what do we get? Five of them. How cute for a little bowl filler are those, right? And, um, I don't know if I if I bump into more of these I'm gonna sneeze I'm a mess a hot mess hiccups and sneezing <coughs> excuse me <laughs> thank you for all of you that just blessed me thank you so anyways five little mini pumpkins for a dollar and I just thought those were adorable and then I picked up this 
and I don't know why I didn't pick up more. I guess it's because everything I picked up had to be suitcase worthy. It all takes up room, let's face it. But I was able to find these, and these were in other colors as well. Um, but I only picked up the one in the black and white because that's pretty much my decor here. You can't see, but even my curtains are black and white check here. Um, so I picked up one of those, but I don't really have a lot of room, but they did have other colors too. So I only needed one, really. That's probably why I only picked up one. So, but too cute. Styrofoam already done. I think we did this last year with the other version of the styrofoam, um, pumpkin and we just did it ourselves. But look, I will pick, fix up this plastic. I'll fix this pumpkin up and uh, something like this you can find at Hobby Lobby for probably $3.99 and we're getting it at the Dollar Tree and I don't know about you but I feel like I'm seeing a lot of Hobby Lobby dupes at the Dollar Tree. Do you? Like I feel like this and a lot of the things I've shown you I just feel like we see those things at Hobby Lobby for a much more, much more. Now, let's see, where did we go? Okay, here, I picked up this boring thing. I told you I'm trying to get rid of the bags and sags and all that under my eyes. And this says, Age Defy Dark Circles and Puffy Serum. So I also picked that up. I had never tried that. Um, my sister got this too while we were together in New Hampshire and she didn't like it. So I haven't tried it yet. She feels like it's way too wet. Like it's like much wetness um so i don't know we'll see i have to do one thing at a time though i can't try everything all at once i'll never know which product is working so i'm going to put this on the back shelf for a little while and see how my hyaluronic stuff works and then i have another i think this is another little pumpkin i just couldn't resist oh yes it is i loved the color and here it is they have so many different pumpkins going on right now I, look at the look at the detail in that there's pumpkins pumpkins everywhere mostly on the front rounders the glass rounders but i'm trying to incorporate some of this blue this year i tried last year too i didn't get much but this year i love i'm all about this blue fall color so I picked that up so that will go on my tiered tray and then I found these socks and I don't know about you but um, <laughs> I buy gold toe socks and they're not cheap um, my sister is a gold toe fan too a lot of my friends Linda if you're watching she loves gold toe um, this pair of gold toe was seven dollars originally and I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree very very nice gold toe nice for winter and then I picked up these pink flamingo they have so many different styles you really have to check these were originally eight dollars in the store and I got them for a dollar they do say odor control which I don't need odor control but look they're little pink flamingos I couldn't pass these up very nice socks for a dollar so go to the Dollar Tree if you are a gold toe fan. Um, pick up some new socks. They're awesome. What else did I pick up? Oh, I have a Juicy Couture luggage. My suitcase is Juicy Couture. It's pink with white palm trees all over it. And they kill it. They kill it. They absolutely kill it hill it at the at the airport it comes back all black and marked up and filthy and so I picked this up when I got there to New Hampshire and I was hoping it would help me take the marks and things off of my luggage but it 
really didn't. It really didn't do that. But it's not for that. It's really for your sneakers, um, for your shoe. Uh, and it's supposed to get your soles white again. Um, so let me know if you've ever used this um, for your shoes. But it did not work on my luggage, unfortunately. Looks like it's just a magic eraser, to be honest with you. Um, that's exactly what it feels like. So, with a little scrubby pad. So, I mean, it wasn't a waste of money. I can use it on something else. But, um, to be honest with you, the amazing, um, oh my god, awesome cleaner worked best, best ever. So, and there's actually a couple places where they have gouged my juicy, my gouged her. So, it's a shame. It's a hard cover, too. All right, then I picked up these. Not that they're not in Florida. I just picked them up because um, these are a good size, too. They're not open, but they're a good size when you... Oh, I can't wear a ponytail yet, but I put these around my ribbon after I use my ribbon instead of putting a, a bobby pin or a pin in there to hold it or tape it um, I just put these around the whole do I have a ribbon I threw them all down on the floor but anyways that's what I'm doing with those here's another bag of um, the scented I liked the ones with the little pumpkins in there and all right now I picked this up. I can't believe I had to go all the way to New Hampshire to pick this up. But I did because I've been wanting to make a tiered tray and I didn't want a round vase. This is not taking up too much room on the bottom, so we would still have you know plenty of space at the bottom. It's tall enough so that we can put big things between a tier and then this is great for the top tier but I have not been able to find this shape at the Dollar Tree in a year or more so yep had to go all the way to New Hampshire but there it is I found it I would have preferred it in clear uh, but it's going to be spray painted so I picked that up and that is coming up pretty soon so stay tuned to see how I make my two tiered tray with that and um Okay, now, I don't know, I have two more exciting things. Oh, no, I have one more thing over here that's not too exciting. Do you know these these dishes, what do they call them? Um, they just call them bowls. They are just adorable little bowls for bowl fillers on your tier tray, and you get four of them for a dollar. So, again, not that these are special to New Hampshire, I just happened to pick them up while I was in New Hampshire. Okay, so my favorite things, my two last favorite things are there's four of these that I'm dying to have, but I was so excited to be able to find two of them. And my sister and I were in competition. It was fun because we were both on our Dollar Tree, um, our Dollar Tree um, marathon to hit because we were looking for certain things like that that ceiling tin the press on tile um and this is one of them so the the new country calendars are out at the dollar tree and god love you if you can find one because i t i'm telling you it seems as though the stores get five boxes of calendars and only one are uh, the farmhouse only one box of the farmhouse calendars, which they are all dug through and there is nothing left in them except for the calendars that nobody wants. So I was really lucky to get my hands on one of each of these and that was it. So I got this one, which I love the canning jar. And this one says thankful, grateful, and blessed. And then let me show you the back. It's going to be hard to see with the ring light, but there's lots of cute 
pictures to um, either craft with or DIY with. I can't get that to not glare. So this was one. Very cute. Can you see it more back here? No. Okay, there. There's that. And here, I don't know if you can zoom in. But this is, we got to hurry up. I've been on here forever with you guys. Um, and then I found this one. The, the farmhouse one. With the wreath. And all the cool things on the back very hard to see trust me and they're awesome and then the red truck only it's in blue so cool so so cool and this one just says farm fresh and then I'm still looking for those though and if I do find more of those the first ones I find will go to my sister if I find more I'm gonna do an impromptu giveaway on them because I know everybody is looking for them now I'm gonna try to put these together before I show you that this is so exciting now when I found these I was in the hooked it New Hampshire store awesome phenomenal store by the way kudos to them and we were beginning our marathon and I thought I was probably gonna find a lot of these so I only picked up one of each I know better I do I know better I should have picked them all up anyway and then if I saw them at other stores I would have been like oh got that already but I didn't I wasn't thinking, I was too excited about going to the next Dollar Tree and what I might find there, but I finally, finally found the Cricut Vinyl. These are the only colors that they had. They're all removable. They have so many, I think, is this removable or permanent? Let me see. Removable, yeah, all removable. Now I can't hold them. Um, all removable vinyl and they, but they have, it's endless what they carry. They have leather, they have full leather, they have glitter vinyl, they have permanent vinyl, they have removable, they have the um, um, transfer tape, and I would love to get my hands on any and all of that stuff. Whoops, but anyways, I got black and red and white and blue. And I'm so thrilled. So that is going to do it for my Dollar Tree haul from New Hampshire. So exciting, so much fun, and um, it's just so much fun to be on the hunt and to do what we did um, with the marathon and just go from one Dollar Tree to the next, just hop from one town to the next, and all we did in those towns were Dollar Trees and um, we just had the, we just had the most fun so I hope that you see something in this haul that you like and that you want to go hunt for if there's something in my haul today that is from New Hampshire that you definitely are going to go look for at your Dollar Tree would you give me a little hunting list below and let me know so that if I find some of those things um, I can forward them to you. I would love to be able to help. I know I would love it if you guys found the ceiling tin and could help me out with that. I would gladly pay you, um, you know, the price plus shipping. So I would gladly do the same. So if there's anything in this haul that you really like and you'll be on the lookout for in your area um, that you can't find um, let me know so I can always keep my eye out like I know someone right now that wants a lot of like three or four bottles of that hyaluronic acid um, hyaluronic skin stuff it comes in a little um, dropper so though we can help each other is what I'm saying so this will do for my um, Dollar Tree haul from New Hampshire and don't forget to scan your receipts especially your Dollar Tree receipts and uh, let me give you out loud if you have a pen um, and if not I will put it in the description I'll put a link to my fetch rewards 
in the description box below and um, if you are not al already a fetch rewards member you'll want to use my link and go get fetch rewards it's totally free and you just it comes with the app comes with a built-in scanner you scan your receipts and it gives you points the points you can redeem for gift cards I have a plan to do all my grandson's gift shopping for Christmas using just Amazon gift cards that I'm getting from Fetch Rewards. My um, link is my referral code, which means that it helps both of us, is 9MFN1. And if you use that referral code when you go get your Fetch Reward app, um, it'll give you 2,000 points right off the bat. So, and it will give me 2,000 for you using it. So it will help us both. So um, even if you don't use my referral code, don't forget to scan all of your receipts because you've already paid for the merchandise. Now you get free money for just scanning that into a free app that gives you points and you get your uh, gift cards to use for free. All right, everybody, this has been a long one. I apologize for the length of it, but I wanted to do all of the uh, Dollar Tree from New Hampshire in one haul, uh, just so I don't mix up. I'm looking to make sure I don't miss anything, and I just wanted to make sure that it was all in one haul so I don't confuse them. But thanks for being patient with me, and um, until the next time I do a video, everybody be well and be kind. Bye now.